Fields. He gets it left side to Johnson. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Now Fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Now you see Dalvin Cook in the offense heading back out. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Another six-yard carry, same as last play. First down. Once more, it's the fullback Ham. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Cousins gives way to Cook. And they'll hold him to three there as he takes this up to the 47. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Cook up the gut. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. To throw, Cousins. It's caught, Smith. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Up the middle, Nwangu. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot and trying to get it. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Dalvin Cook, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. Joseph on for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Fields. Out to his left. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. 
And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth Yeah, you'd court. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That good for 19 and a first down. Again, it's Cook. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, I think it's pretty evident that any blowout isn't going to be big enough for them. They're already up seven full touchdowns, and it's still not stopping them from throwing it deep downfield, taking their shots. And this ball is caught by Irv Smith. Touchdown, Vikings. From 17 yards out, and the Vikings add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Back to throw. Fields. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Operating from the gun, Fields. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Chicago offense set to get started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, 
I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now a first down throw, Fields. And there's a short throw, it's caught by Komet. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Throwing again is Fields. Rolling to his left. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Now Fields. Dances by him. And some room to roam now. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Vita Vea able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. A shotgun snap, Fields. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw. Fields. And this is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Santos' kick is up and through, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Now, they nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who can get your first downs and big plays of all styles, but you've got to have a big man. You can just turn and hand it to, and he can be dependable in picking up first downs. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A give, this is Cook. And some room to work. It's a gain of 16, and the Vikings have the first down as well. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Handoff comes to Cook. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing his Cousins. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Let's see now, Charles. That's seven turnovers between last week and this week. Three here in this game, four in last week's game. 
you know I do my research, right? And I go all the way back to the best coaches I've ever. Oh, Fields is intercepted for a third time. It's Cameron Davis.